Pampers. It's the Pampered Stamper, and I just wanted to show you the string art technique. I don't know if it has a fancier name, but that's what I'm calling it. So what you need is some reinker, a string, and you'll notice the string does not have to be white. Um, it started, these cards I've already made, and I made them at my team meeting, and my team member, Jen Ford, showed us how to do these. And I, this was my first try, and I was quite pleased. You can see that this was the bottom layer. That won't make any sense to you right now, and this was the top layer. Um, this one had more ink on the string, and this one, I, I prefer this one here. Okay, so I was playing around a little bit before because this string was a lot thinner than what Jen, uh, what Jen used. So this was when the, the, the string was completely saturated. Okay, and I'll explain more later. So that's that look. And then this was the second time using the same string. Now, I like this much better. You get more of the detail, the fine lines. So this is um, Calypso Coral. And then I also did it with Knight of Navy. This is the first go. Again, rather thick, bold. And then this one is with the string we used, and it was not done using the sandwich. I just used one piece of paper. So I'm going to show you with just one piece of paper because I kind of like it better. So you take your piece of paper, and I cut mine to be a card front. So it's four inches by five and a quarter. And then your piece of string, oh yeah, here I have one already, um, is about 18 inches roughly. So I've put some re -anchor. And, you know, these little um, containers are from our accessories, so just save those. Don't throw them out. Now, if you do not want to get really messy, so just kind of coil the string in there a little bit. And make sure you save about this much. This is your handle, okay? You don't want that to be dirty. I've got a little stick, and I'm just going to stir it around a little bit, okay? Now, if it's too soaked, it's not good. So we're going about for the half-soaked look. Very technical terms here. Oh, oh, you can just see how that bottom bit was just drenched. I'm just going to, all right. Then you carefully lay it on and you make some loops. I'm going for about three loops. Oh, don't worry if they're not perfect. That This is gonna, they're all different. So this is a really squirrely looking one. I've never had one look like this, I'm just telling you. Okay, now you take your plate from the big shot and I'm doing it, I'm laying it on so that I have a good handle here. And then you want a heavy book. I have a Bible. It's my heaviest book. Then you stand up and you get a firm grip on your on your piece, on your string, and you just give it a quick pull. Like so. Okay. And then we have the mystery. Lift the Bible. Oh, this is a dark one. Look at that. And it's kind of stuck a bit to my plate, but that's okay. Carefully peel it off. Look at that. Okay, very thick. Now a wipe. So you want to wipe off your 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 um, whatever clear plate. <laughs> you guys know what it is. Now this is an old one. Oh my wipe is very dirty. Okay, aprons are very good. Just give it a wipe. Don't wipe it on your white pants. Wipe it on your apron. Okay, and then you want to make sure I'm going to. Oh, I laid it on the string. Ah, yeah. Okay. Can't lay it on the Bible. Okay, so we're gonna get a clean surface here. Kind of clean. Okay, there we go. Now we do it again. Another white piece of paper. The, re the used string, which is now a little bit more malleable. Pull it a little bit. Whoop, whoop. Okay. There. And there. Oh, and now I'm running out of ink. I'm just there. There we go. Okay. Now, back with the plate. You know what this reminds me of? I don't know if you guys ever had a pull start lawnmower and you had to yank on the string to get it started. Yeah. Okay, so a little pressure on the Bible. Hold on to the string and pull. And now let's see. Oh yes, quite lovely, quite lovely. Now I think that, part. that this dark part right here is from that end that was sticking out over the edge. But I kind of like it, I like the contrast. So it's just really crazy art. I try to, when I'm looping the string, to leave a white space somewhere for a sentiment, and that's it. So I'll do a little bit more playing. I'll turn these into cards, and um, I'll post. But I guess the trick is to not saturate your string too much and to do two goes. So one will be heavier, and one will be lighter. And then what I forgot to say is that what you can also do is when you lay your string down, you can put another piece of paper on top, and then the plate, then the Bible, then pull, 
and then you get two for the price of one, but you might not want two. So that's why I decided not to do it that way. I kind of like getting one at a time. I wasn't have to make too many cards because I can't waste. All right. Have a super day and um, let me know if I can help you with anything. Bye.